Hey everybody, welcome back to Reviews and Random. Today I am showing you another product from iClimb. I recently purchased a whole bunch of their products um, and I wanted to show you guys this one. This is their ultra light camping chair. Yes, this is an actual camping chair in here. Look at how small this thing is. When we say ultra light, ultra compact, they, they mean it. Like this is about 13 inches, a little over 13 inches long by, we'll go from the widest point, uh, about five inches exactly. We'll go ahead again, go from the widest point. We are about just under four inches. Um, so very, very small. And just for completeness sake, let's go ahead and weigh this thing. Should be right around two pounds, 37.2 ounces. So just barely over two pounds. So very, very light, very easy to, to transport. I mean, a can of beans weighs a pound, right? So. Let's go ahead and take this downstairs. I want to show you. It's a little bit different, a little bit more. It's a, a little bit more work to set up one of these um, folding chairs. And the reason why, I guess I can open it up here. The reason why is that this is the frame for it. So it's actually a pretty awesome design. Let's go outside and uh, I'll show you how to set this thing up. We'll go over some of the pros and the cons of it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and show you how this works. Uh, I'm going to try to do as good as I can to keep my big head out of the frame, but let you guys see what's actually happening. Um, so all you're going to do is unfasten this. And that looks complicated. It's not. There's elastic that really just pops everything exactly where it needs to go, which is absolutely awesome. One thing that I'll say while I'm putting that in, so actually, I guess I'm done putting that in. You've got the feet here on the bottom. That's your, that's your frame. So really easy. But one thing that I will say is that I, I have had several of these um, ultralight chairs in the past. This is by far the best of the, the plastic. It is plastic or it, I mean, it might be reinforced somehow, but it's definitely the best of any of them that I've seen as far as the, the strength of it. You can tell um, the thickness is, is better than a lot of the other ones that I've tried. Um, so I have a, a lot more faith that this one will actually hold up. If it doesn't, I will show, I will make a comment in the uh, description of the video. So anyway, all right. So now that that's there, all you're going to do is attach this here. You have these little, these little things. Hopefully you can see that there. And you're just going to pull this one. I don't know if I can show you, but hopefully that's in there. You're going to pull that to that side pull this to this side and you're done. It's actually quite uh, stable. You wouldn't think so for how small it is, but it's quite stable. Um, let's go ahead and show you some of the, uh, like a closer look at some of the features. All right, so one of the things that you're gonna notice is that there is a considerable amount of mesh on this chair. Um, so that does two things. One, it makes it lighter, but two, it also allows air movement, obviously, which is nice. What I've found though, is that if all of it is mesh, which I've seen some of these chairs where most of it is mesh, um, it is extremely uncomfortable because the sides here need to be durable enough to actually kind of hug in when you sit. If they're not, they, they just flop over and it provides no support. Same thing with the bottom here. Another thing that I really like about this, you can see it's double stitched everywhere. Um, I've had some of these chairs in the past where the company was, I don't know if it was, if they were trying to save money or trying to save weight by adding less thread, it doesn't make that big of a difference, but single stitching and the stitching itself comes out fairly quickly. So I was happy to see that all of that is double stitched. Um, it's got pockets down here on the side for whatever cell phone camera that also holds a water bottle really nicely. So both sides have that down here at the bottom. You can see these were the connections I was talking about. Um, I have a lot of confidence in these, um, because just snapping it together felt really nice when you can see how thick it is. Um, I've had aluminum ones that are lightweight, but they bend and break really easy. So I, I'm assuming these are nylon reinforced. Um, I'll find out for sure. I guess it might even be on the description, um, but they, they look to be very, very durable. Again, I'll tell you if, if I break this thing. And then of course the feet on the bottom, nice touch, just to add a little bit of stability. Um, what else? Oh, one of the things that is, that I've noticed with these, uh, ultralight chairs is that a lot of them try to be ultralight by making it shorter in the back. So this backrest, um, I've had some that were 
about right here that were almost unusable because it went right below my shoulder blades and was extremely uncomfortable to um, to sit on. So I like that this one comes up a little bit higher. I am 6'1", and it comes to about the middle of my shoulder blades. I, I would have liked it, you know, another inch up here. I think that would have been even nicer, um, but it wasn't uncomfortable at all to sit on. I'm going to use it today and to go fishing and which I think this is a perfect application for that. So I'm gonna use it today for fishing after sitting in it for a few hours. I will make a comment in the description because um, I don't feel like I need to have another video, another part of this video just to tell you guys about the <laughs> how comfortable it was. Um, it, initial impressions is it's very comfortable, um, but look for the, for the explanation in the description of um, how it felt after several hours. So. For now, I think that this little chair is pretty darn awesome. It's actually reasonably priced too. I think I paid 35 bucks for it. Like it, re it really was not an expensive chair at all um, for what you get. I'm really pleased with it. Durability, um, I expect based on, you know, the fact that I've owned a half dozen of these, I expect that this will be one of the most durable, but look for an update in the description. If at any time I break this thing, you will know about it down there. For now, I think that this, this thing is definitely worth, worth the, the money and I give it five stars. Holy cow, guys, I forgot to show you how to take this thing down. I can't believe I did that. First rodeo, I think. All right, so it's pretty much the reverse of what you did. It's super easy to do. You're just gonna slide these things out. Just like that. I set this on the ground, just like that. And then all you're gonna do is pull these out so that everything falls towards the middle. That's the goal, is right here at the middle. Hopefully you're seeing that. Just like that. I pull everything right here in the middle just to make it easier. And then one thing that I did like about this that my other ones didn't have is it actually has this Velcro strap here, which is nice to, so you're not having to fight that while you're putting everything together. Um, all right, now we're gonna just fold this thing in half here. Just like so. I set this in the middle or on the side and just roll the whole thing up. You can set these in separately um, where you put the bars in into the case and then the fold this different. This is the way I like to do it because it's easy. Slide it into the case. Make sure you don't catch your stuff there. And zip it up. Boom. That's it. Nice and easy. Again, super pleased with it so far. I'm gonna give it a test run. Uh, let's put this thing through its paces and then I will post this video, but I think that you're gonna be happy.